Next whiskey we're going to look at of the, uh, of the Glengoyne range. This is a limited edition. This is a uh, Glengoyne that's been finished in Australian Shiraz casks and uh, it's called Glen Gwyn. Now uh, this is something that's uh, a lot of fun to develop and there's a, histor there's a historical link between uh, these Shiraz casks and Glengoyne distillery. Uh, I won't bore you with uh, the full details but about just over 100 years ago the great 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 grandfather I think it was of the guy that owns the uh, vineyard in Australia he used to work at the distillery and he was one of the guys, a guy called Tedder he was one of the guys uh, responsible for uh, producing the whiskey rigs which have been on the go now for over a century and his son got a vineyard called it Glen Gwyn and we thought it would be a lot of fun to send over some of his Shiraz casks from Australia to Glengoyne and uh, get some of our 16 year old finest Glengoyne that was in refill casks and finish it in this guy's Shiraz casks for about 16 or 17 weeks. So that's what we did, we did it about a year ago and we produced this Glengoyne Shiraz finished whiskey. And it's something that's different from the rest of the Glengoyne range. There's about 3,200 bottles of this Glen Gwyn and when you see the colour you can see it's slightly different there's kind of a rose a rose tint to that if we were in a in a room with maybe soft lighting and we have obviously outside the rose tint would come through there but it's got a nice clear colour amount uh, in there it's very it's very clear yeah and when you nose it It's like quite a complex whiskey. You're still getting the Glengoyne, the softness of Glengoyne, the green apples they associate with the new make, but these green apples have kind of moved to maybe a, a red apple. There's uh, obviously an influence from the Shiraz, but it isn't a strong influence. You're getting rose, red roses coming through there as well. Bit of spicy coming through. Not a, lot of, not a lot of sweetness, which is a surprise. Some, but not too. There's, there's, a, there's a level of sweetness in there. This is 48% alcohol, which is quite a strange, uh, strange strength. Normally it's a lot higher or, or below that, but we found that 48% for this one works well. You're getting subtle oakiness coming through, and it is subtle. You're getting subtle Shiraz coming through in there. It's also spicy and there's honey in there. So there's, there's, there's more sweetness in the actual taste than there is in the nose. The spiciness is actually quite pleasant. Gives you a nice quiet, nice uh, subtle zing in the tongue just on the underside and a kind of bitterness on the back which again is the oakiness coming through. I would put a wee bit of water in that, as I do with most of my whiskies, just to kind of bring it down a wee bit. It's actually quite pleasant. It's been a while since I've tasted this, and I'm not a big fan of finishes. I find that, uh, you know, getting a 16 year old single malt whiskey and put it in a, in a cast to finish it can very often just change the whiskey from being something that's absolutely good to being something that can be kind of faddish, something that can be a craze and you can lose it just for the sake of a market employee, you know, to try and sell whiskey. Uh, so I've never been a big fan of finishes, and I don't mind saying that for the record. You know, some of them are just not so good, but this one, <laughs> they've done a good job, they've done a good job. It's very Moorish, nice and dry which is just how I like my, my, like my whiskey. The Shiraz kind of raises its profile just a wee bit, but not too much. Glengoyne is still there very well, very, the, the, the apples, the spiciness is in there, the dry oakiness is in there. It's very, very pleasant, very good whiskey. I would say it's, it's, one, of, it's one of the better finishes, one of the better finishes we've tried.